Ladies and gentlemen, this is probably going to be one of the best videos I've ever made. So you want to stay tuned to the end because we got something for the ignorant folk. I'm 100% getting demonetized for this video. And you'll see why at the end. Think about subscribing. What did I say? We're going to start having fun. We're going to start enjoying the dumb shit. We have a subscriber who asked a question, but first I want to tell you, in my opinion, what you don't want to do. We're watching the trend, which is the price. We're watching the volume, which is the strength. And we're watching the RSI, which is the momentum of acceleration. We've got bearish divergence on important metrics, which mean that we're only going up in price on less volume and lower momentum. Now, we can continue to ride. All we can do is the easy way out of the hallway. So the choice is yours. You see all that nonsense and that bullshit up there? Now, Josh had a question. It's just so funny that stocks with Josh and Josh had a question. Maybe it's the same person. Maybe it's not. No offense. I don't think it's the same person. But but Josh said, should, you know, since the market is volatile, should you cash out and go to a, you know, a safe haven of a high interest account? Yes and no. Yes, because you always want to have an emergency fund set aside where you want to keep some money in a CD uh, or a savings account, but at any time they can lower those interest rates. Do it not for the growth, do it for the emergency fund. You always wanna have some money set aside. Like for instance, remember I said a lot of people gonna start hating on me, not my subscribers because we've been trying to tell them for the longest. This is my emergency fund. I keep over 30 grand. I like to keep 30 grand, not because of emergencies, uh, for so much, yeah, maybe 20,000 will be okay for that, but I like to keep a surplus to go on vacation. But I wanna show you why you should keep money in a stock market. At the end of the day, you should keep money in a stock market and you shouldn't pay attention to anybody who makes thumbnails like this. You wanna ignore them and you wanna buy a broad-based index fund. I've been saying this forever, either the S&P 500 or a total stock market index fund. This is my Roth IRA, Josh. This is my Roth IRA that you see, the guy in the beginning, the, the stocks with Josh guy, allegedly joined pretty much joined YouTube in 2021. This Roth IRA has been there since 2018. Now, the reason why I started my Roth IRA late is because even I didn't know. I did not know that high wage income earners, when you make over a certain amount, you could do something called a backdoor Roth IRA. Talk to your CPA. I did something called the backdoor Roth IRA. You pretty much do a conversion. You do it in a traditional and then you convert it over to a Roth IRA. Look at the gains. I contributed 37,500. You see that little squiggly line? That's the money I put. You see the blue line? That is the growth since 2018 in a total stock market index fund from Charles Schwab. No trading, no plays, no stop losses, no nothing. I almost doubled, I almost made just as much money as, in growth as I did contributing. This is why the long-term effect of investing long-term will get you to where you wanna go. So you got a lot of people that they haven't seen growth. It's because no matter what you own, if you own VOO, VTI, you don't trade it, you don't stop loss it, you don't put it, you don't do none of that shit. You just keep it for the long term. Every every year, I would throw the maximum contributions in here. A lot of you, a, a lot of you know, I got the work 401k, I got the dividend portfolio, I got this uh, a Roth IRA, I got a Fidelity FX AIX, I got a savings account. Uh, Social Security, pension coming to me. I know people, oh, the cup's going to be half empty and, you know, anything could happen. That's why you're not successful because you don't have a positive outlook. Now, for all the ignorant haters out there that have been trolling me and have been saying, I don't know what I'm talking about because I make fun of your favorite idiot that popped up in 2020. Maybe you'll relate to this. Me and my subscribers been trying to wake you up. I'm going on vacation. I don't know when I'll be back. Uh, yeah, I'm going on vacation, but I want to leave you guys with this. All you people who've been hating on me and my subscribers and you don't think hard work pays off, maybe you'll relate to this because these are the type of people that you join. Have fun. Have a wonderful, have a wonderful weekend, wonderful day whenever you see this. As you see, I don't give a shit no more. I'm having fun going on vacation. Don't return back to work after Labor Day. Enjoy the video. Drive on a pump Fingers letting go of the wheel when I come Wheel when I come Wheel when I come David can't redeem I'm a dial on a tongue She's just giving head She don't know what I've done